In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Take Payment feature to take payments for posted invoices or deposits for customer accounts. It can be accessed from the home page. So here next to Easy Clocking, we have Take Payment. You can either type in a customer's name or use the down arrow to search for it. It will display the customer's outstanding balance. Then select a payment method. So in this example, I'll use a card and I'll go to the next page. Here I can change the date of this payment and by default it will apply to documents. Because it's applying to documents, if I click on the amount here, it will take me to the Take Payment Entries page where I can see open invoices or credit memos for the customer and we simply make the selection as to what's being paid. And as you notice, when you select Payment Made, it's assigning the full amount owed to the Amount Received column. So if that's not the case, and they've perhaps paid a uh, £5,000 payment off of this amount, then you can just key it in and it will calculate the difference. So we'll move on from that page. I have an option now to change the description if necessary, or you can just leave it as the pre-filled customer payment. And if you wanted to take a deposit at this point, if you unslide the Apply to Document slider, then the Amount section becomes free typable. So you can just key in any amount in the amount and then move forward. So we move on to the next page where I can now review before posting. So this customer on this date is going to have this much paid by card. So if you're using the built-in accountancy module, then you'll have lump payment. If you're not, then it won't be applicable. And because this payment method in card that I've chosen is connected to an integrated card machine, then we have the option to, uh, by default, to trigger the card machine when we post. So if I go to post this now, it's opened the card terminal processing screen. This will run through the customer having to present their card, key in their PIN number, and getting a successful return. Once that's done, the system just posts the payment. This feature is also accessible via customers. So if you pick a customer's name, say internal shop sheet in this example, we go to process, then we have uh, take payment here, just the same. And by accessing it from here, it pre-fills the customer's details. Other than that, the process is exactly the same. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please